another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. You already know when I post notification bell on. Don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend about Pay and Shine, y'all. We lit. We on the road to 100K. This is not Pay and Shine. This is chilling with Pay. I'm sorry. But y'all, we on the 100K to both channels. Help us get there. Make sure y'all subscribe, like this video. You already know what time it is. I am going to be, well, y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail. I am going to be doing a breast feeding video i believe i did this when my daughter was newly born i never did it with sergio and y'all did not know me when i had ronald because i had him at 19 period but anywho i am doing this for all my new mommies out here my existing mommies out here i'm doing it for the mommies who milk is dried up you can bring it back all of that y'all for real because i have met moms who didn't even carry the child that had a surrogate and still was able to do breastfeeding period whether you got flat nipples in inverted nipples whatever going on baby we about to get some milk out them things okay period so y'all i'm about to just go over my pumps my uh the sessions i have it all down and this worked for me and hopefully it worked for y'all i know everybody's different i know everybody's anatomy is different but i'm here to show y'all and let y'all know that we about to get something popping out them things period if this is not for you keep scrolling if it is if you know somebody pregnant granddaughter daughter yourself a friend a mom anybody y'all play this video and you know save it or just let it play while you in the shower washing dishes going to pick your kids up from school outside in the snowball fight let this video play period so right now i just want to go over what i just did um i just pumped this out y'all can tell me she ate that this is seven ounces and this is five so this is my money maker right here. This is probably about to be a, like a nine ounce bottle, but she drunk a little bit and she in her hollering cause she want me, but I'm doing this video. So this is what I just got now. And I use the motif. I use the motif Luna double electric breast pump. Okay. Um, it's very innovative. It's very sleek, chic, I should say. Um, it has like a night light. So I have to turn the lights on when I'm pumping. I pump at my desk when my work uh, this is where i be this is my this is my area so it got a little night light it got a timer it got a mode it has um expression mode it has massage mode it has low noise um backflow prevention i'm looking at it because i have a box right here as well i had to get two let me tell the backstory why i had to get two so y'all this is my old one the motor went out that's how much i be pumping y'all but you just push the power the light come on this is what the light is you can handy dandy move it around it's lightweight it's nothing um i had to get another one because the motor went out and if your breast pump stopped working for any reason contact the manufacturers they might want you to send a picture a, a, a video anything and they will replace it that's what i had to do because my motor went out um yeah so i just got done drinking <laughs> I just got done drinking um, water. I always drink water before I pump because after I get done pumping, I be super, super hungry. Um, so I, sometimes I even get dizzy. If I'm just pumping and going, I get really, really dizzy because breastfeeding take a lot out of you guys. It burns a lot of calories. So keep that in mind. Um, my daughter will be seven months on the 26th. So I've been pumping for seven months. Um, for Sergio, I pumped for 16 months. No yeah 16 months and then at my 16 month i'm like i'm done i'm cutting them off i winged him over to almond milk and two percent milk and i was still mixing breast milk and taking it away so for my mommies out there they be like oh it's hard to stop her or him from drinking so this is my thing like so this is this is all breast milk right i will put about three ounces of breast milk and then the rest whatever milk you choose to give them whole milk two percent um almond um what's some other milks oat milk anything you want and you put the rest there and mix it in good you know what i'm saying they're gonna start drinking and after that you just get lower and lower and lower and lower with breast milk you keep pulling the breast milk out and keep filling it with the milk of you desire and then boom your children are weaned off it's gonna take time yes they're gonna be like oh what is this but after a while they're gonna like do it for sergio it was crazy because he did he he kept spot on knowing that something was off with his breast milk and it was so hard for me i was very discouraged i was very heartbroken but i did that method and he was done with the breast milk and in 16 months you know it was it was and then i got pregnant with my daughter i know i'm all over the place but y'all should stay with me um so back to this this is what 
this is my breast pump that I use right now. I have a new one sitting in front of me. That's why it's like this. Um, these are not the bottles that come with it. If y'all can see, these are event fill-up bottles. But the head of the breast pump is so wide, it fits any mouth of a bottle. And sometimes I need bigger bottles. Breast pumps only, and you just put it in right here, y'all. Breast pumps only give you like six ounce bottles. Or six ounce bottles, baby, listen, I overflow them. I do. Because I have such a massive supply. Like that's seven ounces right there. So I would have been soaking wet. And I had to learn that the hard way. Um, so yeah, so whatever breast pump you decide, just make sure you, uh, you know, keep the manufacturer number because you might, because like I said, my motor goes out. Okay, so with that being said, I, um, my pump schedule. So this is my pump schedule, y'all. Let's see. I have a pump schedule that I was following and, I, and it changes depending on how old my daughter is. Okay, so I used to keep it on my phone, as y'all can see. And I'm going to read it to y'all. So from zero to three months. I pumped 8 to 10 times a day without fail. The times were 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., 12 a.m., 4 a.m., and keep going. And that's my cycle throughout the day. That's how I got a massive supply. So I kept up with that pump schedule up until she was three months. After the first six weeks or ten weeks, if I'm not mistaken, I don't have my breastfeeding book right here, your milk is regulated. So your milk knows when it needs to come around and whatever. So I kept pumping and kept giving myself a schedule because I wanted my body to know that my baby was needing that milk and that's what it did for me. So when she turned four months, my pump schedule changed, as y'all can see. So y'all see how it was like long and then this is my pump schedule from four to six months. I only pump four to seven times a day and the times are 7 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., 7 p.m., 11 p.m. So that's my pump schedule as of now. Um, I just pumped, so that was considered my three o'clock, but I was an hour late. An hour on and off is okay. And then I'm gonna pump next time at seven. Then I'm gonna pump again at 12. And I stopped doing my night feeds. Do I still have a bottle at the bedside? Of course, she still gets up. But I use my stash for that. I'm trying to wing my body off. Do my breasts hurt throughout the night? Yes, they hurt. But I'm trying to tell my body like I don't need the milk. That's why when I wake up in the morning, I pump 11 ounces, one boob, and nine ounces. So that's crazy within itself so i will bottle and give her one and then i will freeze the other one so not even freeze it i put it in the refrigerator and then throughout the day i might make that bottle or might use it for her bath or whatever yes breast milk is essential in baths my baby skin you don't have clothes on i hope they can't see a little but i'm potty training him so he don't wear bottoms because it helps him go to the bathroom but um I give my babies breast milk baths. I wash their hair with the breast milk. I put it in their eyes, their ears, whatever. It's very essential. It's healing. It's liquid gold, honestly. Her skin is super soft. Both of their skin is. Sometimes I don't use it for his face. I use it. It's amazing. But, um, yeah, so after the first three months, you could come down off your breast schedule. Full intake. Um, so with my son, his, his, his bowel movement was kind of off compared because of the vegetables. Shy bowel movements was off because of dairy. She had, they both had mucus in their boob, in their, um, they poop poop because of what I was eating. So what does that mean, Paige? That mean that your babies can't have vegetables? No, that doesn't mean that. It just means that I had to watch my intake because Sergi would like run off off if I had like a salad that day or something. And she would run off if I had cheese. So I stopped eating. Um, I, I included a lot of fiber with him and I stopped eating dairy with her. At the six month mark, they both was able to tolerate it. So I went back to eating regularly. I don't just pig out like I want to. I mean, yes, I have cravings, but I'm still breastfeeding. They still controlling my body outside of my body. So yes, I have cravings and stuff like that, like spicy food here and there and things of that nature. But I try to keep it at a minimum because I know I'm eating for two, still, <laughs> still. Um, but it's very, very rewarding. Um, when you first start pumping, I hear a lot of moms say, um, my stomach hurts. Your uterus is contracting. From every pump, your uterus is getting sh it's shrinking and shrinking. That's how a lot of breastfeeding moms um, don't have a lot of, like a big belly, like a kangaroo pouch or whatever like that. Like my stomach is not flat like it used to be with Ronald. But 
it's not big neither and I'm okay with that um I know a lot of moms say that it hurts to breastfeed y'all see I'll be at my desk it's my drawer so this is my um uh, cream the Mandela cream and went with the other uh, pump so my nipples never hurt it breastfeeding but if they do hurt this is my tip put some cream and this and I use this for my lips the baby is okay stop no move the baby is okay um the baby is okay if they consume this put it on your nipples and put some inside of here so before you about to pump put some inside of here put some on your nipples and pump that should numb you up really good like almost like getting a tattoo so um when my breast pump broke down i use i also have another pump y'all this is my this is old faithful right here this is the moon surgery this is the moon surgery this mole surgery this is the mandela pump this pump is it don't have no numbers it's not as sleek chic as the other one but it's, it it works and i fired this sucker up and i was using this waiting on my um other pump to come but the only thing get down but the only thing about this pump is that it comes with six ounce bottles and the head like i mentioned is not big enough to put big bottles on there so i was flooding this bottle so within two minutes of pumping i would have to stop dump it was like a mess it was taking me longer to pump um each pump session is 15 minutes or less um i'm actually good with eight to ten minutes honestly but a 15 is just to empty me completely out like right now i'm completely out doesn't hurt perfect i feel amazing so 15 minutes does the trick you don't have to go over you, you could go under but just empty yourself out as you pump in express in two like you know what i'm saying express your milk squeeze it all out because it's triggering your brain that oh the baby drunk all this milk y'all we need more milk down here pronto so i always do that so sometimes i sit up against my desk and i like have the pump like this and then i be like this okay because i know a lot of people just sit there and hold it and they're not getting all the milk out how they should so that's my trick right there i always press my pump up against some type of table or something that's why i have a desk so I can, uh, you know, express all of that out. I want it all out of me. Um, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I usually have a smoothie. Coconut water hydrates you better than anything. Um, coconut water, if y'all don't like to taste like me, put it inside a smoothie. Add it to something, whether it's co coconut milk in your coffee or whatever the case may be. Coconut milk is essential. It's good for you. So I do that. Um, I always have something green for dinner or lunch rather if i'm eating a big ass juicy burger or some hot wings i'm gonna always have a salad somewhere um i don't try to eat past a certain time but it's okay to have snacks at your desk like i have these honey buns that's made with soy they all around i could just pop them in if i'm breast pumping at like three four in the morning or five six in the morning you know what i'm saying i always get up to like say by the ronald so i'm always up around that time pumping my milk my morning milk out because that's by the time ronald goes to school around five six o'clock in the morning before i used to start work the milk had to come out now my body is adjusted to me not pumping at night they still hurt but it's a hurt i could tolerate um i wanted to stop that and prolong it because if i didn't then my body would still wake me up and i was just like i want to sleep more than anything i won't sleep rather than to eat um hydrate yourself a pump schedule um eat good make sure you monitor your baby poop make sure it's, um it should be like mustardy the color mustard if you're a breastfeeding mom um yeah breast milk can stay out for four to six hours um past that time it's considered old so let's say your baby drunk a little bit like how shy do she waste stuff because she think money grows on trees um by that time i just pour that bottle in her bath that's a bottle bath i, I don't just pour it down the drain i just give it to her Sergio, go sit down Go sit down. Yeah. Oh, I hope y'all didn't see his naked butt. Anyways, um, so pump schedule. Pump schedule. Hydrate yourself. Eating good. And what else? Make sure you got a good pump. Oh, and if you out and about, get you a, uh, a, 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 what's that called? A, a pump that you can go outside with like an independent pump or whatever i have two i have the free me and i have the i have the free me and i have the one pump so um 
when I'm feeling full, if I know it's my time coming up, and again, you will feel it. I just push it on, you know, what's the name, you know, pump in the store, pump if I'm over somebody's house, ask them, can I store my milk in their freezer? They always say, yeah. Make sure you clean the bottle, wash your hands before and after, make sure your setting is clean, you know what I'm saying? Um, keep your little bag, like, I have like frozen packs that people put inside their lunchbox. I keep that with my milk. Um, and they usually stay cold the whole day and I have a lunch bag, like an insulated lunch bag that I put my milk in if I'm traveling and whatever. But yeah, you, you can't stop your show. The baby need to eat regardless, regardless, regardless. I am my baby milk supply. So not out of 10, shy is always with me. But if I want mommy time, if I want to be by myself, then I'm going to just pump before I go. I know that gives me four hours now. Back then I had to pump every two to three, but right now I'm pumping for every four hours. So it gives me four hours before I need a pump. And yeah. That's basically it, y'all. I hope this video helped y'all. I hope I ain't sounding crazy. I probably am. So I'm thinking of a million things to make sure I get everything down packed. But um, just make sure y'all eating. Try to get some sleep. Hydrate yourself. Um, yeah. If you if you pump them, cool. If she latching on, even better. Um, it's a, it's a great feeling, y'all. Um, I'm at the seven month mark. Am I counting down? Yes, cause I'm over it. Um. I'm gonna try to stop her at one, but if she wants to keep going, I'm gonna let her keep going. But I'm I'm not gonna go past 18 months. I it's a, no, it's a hard no for me. Um, I was happy that Serge stopped at 16. He was pushing it, but I happy I'm happy he stopped. Um, 18 months is the farthest I'm going, but hopefully she be done and I can give my tatas a break so I can find out what my actual breast size is. All I wear is sports bras, y'all. Mommy sports bra that I could just pop out and do what I gotta do. Um, and if I do go out, I do wear regular bras enough to give me support for my my independent pumps. But just have pumps galore. I have pumps galore. I have two pumps in this box. One don't work, but I use the parts just in case this one don't work. And then I have two portable ones that I take with me. So I have pumps everywhere, y'all. Um, you need it. You need it. I do have the pumping thing to cover myself if she want to latch on in public. I have all of that. I don't like pumping in public. It's more messy. And as soon as you start pumping, the other breast gonna leak. So it just be a whole thing. I just rather just put two pumps on, get it all out, be done with it. Put it in the bottle, give it to her. Um, yeah, but it's it's cool, y'all. It's cool. It's rewarding. and it helps me lose weight. Um, I probably would be bigger than what I'm already am. But yeah, I hope this video worked for y'all. If y'all need a part two, let me know. But other than that, I think you're doing great. You're doing wonderful. No one knows the science behind anything no one is god we're just doing the best we can my daughter is about to be seven months and she weighs 20 pounds so i know she's eating and getting everything that she needs um yeah and i'm just building her immune system as i go but i'm not gonna make this video too long i kind of think that it already is <laughs> i'm about to go y'all time to put her in the tub but i love you guys i appreciate y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video